The Minnesota Fighting Vikings are entering year two under head coach Kevin O'Connell and the offensive wonder kid or Wunderkind, uh, it is doing great things. Last year, he produced uh, the, the best season of Kirk Cousins' career, 13 wins, won the division, all of that stuff, and uh, you saw the market improvement, right? So it, it's not like that... Uh, it's not like the offense was terrible in 2021. Certainly left a lot to be desired uh, because you did have Justin Frank and Jefferson. Uh, but the Vikings improved in points. They improved in yards. They improved on third down markedly. Uh, they improved in red zone. And they improved in PFF offensive overall grade. So the Vikings offense took a big step forward last year. And especially since the Vikings defense was ass, thank you, uh, was a major reason why the Vikings ended up winning 13 games. And now with the addition of Jordan Addison uh, to the receiver mix. And by, ooh, our guy Eli Corbett doing amazing things uh, as a graphic designer. Just like, oh, baby, baby. Also, Addison looks tight with number three. Now, I have a standing rule that grown men should not buy jerseys of players that are younger than them. I don't know why that is. It's just a weird rule of thumb that I like to keep. So that's hence why uh, we always roll with the throwback jerseys. But the Addison three jersey, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, man, right? So uh, reasons why the Vikings offense uh, will, uh, has a chance to be elite this year and be very, very good for a very long uh, period of time. Uh, number Year number two under Kevin O'Connell. You saw the jump last year, and now the continuity on that side of the ball. Plus, this is the first time since uh, since uh, 2016 where Kirk Cousins doesn't have a new play caller and doesn't have to learn a brand-new offense and brand-new verbiage, including every single season with the Vikings he had a different OC, which is crazy, man. Uh, Vikings, uh, uh, Kirk is uh, playing the best ball of his career. And, yes, even though he's going to be 35, even though he's heading into a contract year, they're doing the best they can to surround him uh, with talent. And the offensive line improvement through continuity where, I mean, they, they kept – the offensive line together for a reason, and Quasey uh, and Kevin O'Connell have talked about it, where, hey, a big reason why the offensive line had deficiencies last year was injuries. So Darisaw was out for uh, time. Bradbury had that back issue. Uh, O'Neal obviously had the uh, Achilles. Ezra missed some time as well. So, I mean, th having these five guys up front uh, under Chris Cooper for another year in the same offense uh, could be really big for the Vikings, both running the ball and protecting Kirk. And a rededication to running the ball. You know, re-signing C.J. Ham, uh, bringing in Josh Oliver, one of the best blocking tight ends in the game. Uh, it's clear that they want to have heavier packages, whether 22 or 12 personnel, and just really get after it, running the ball. Brought back Madison. Who? Uh, by the way, hey, if Dalvin wants to win a Super Bowl, this is going to be the best offense that he's ever been a part of, ever. And they're going to want to run the ball, so maybe suck things up, maybe take a pay cut. I don't know. Who knows? And then the defense can't uh, defenses can't double Justin Jefferson as easily because uh, there's going to be so many conversations this year at halftime where the defensive coordinator goes to the head coach and says, like, "Hey, we can't keep doubling and bracketing Justin Jefferson because Addison and Hawkinson are just killing us out there. Uh, K uh, KJ slaying us out there. So you're going to single up Justin Jefferson. Yum yum time. Yum yum time. Also, what's going to be amazing? We're you know, under the Zimmer regime, whether it, be, it was Norvell or JDF or the Kubi or Stefanski, like the Vikings offense, you pretty much knew what was going to roll out every single week, right? But now you're going to have so much personnel diversity that you don't know what's going to be out there. And Kevin O'Connell and Wes Phillips, they're going to tailor their offensive game plan to the opponent. What a concept. What a concept, right? So they can roll out with 22 heavy packages, two running backs, two tight ends, 12, two tight ends, 11, three wide. So... The defense is essentially going to choose how they get beat. Hey, the Vikings are going to run the piss out of the ball. They're going to throw the piss out of the ball. There will be very little piss left in that football at the end of the game. Because, I mean, on paper, on purpose, I mean, man, this offense is freaking sexy, man. We're bringing sexy back. Yeah, it was never authorized to leave. Also, the whole being good for a long time. So look at the ages of the Vikings' key offensive contributors. Uh, and also the key ones are in blue. So Jefferson is only 23, uh, 24 in June. Addison just turned 21 in January. Hawkinson's the old man at 25. Derisaw is only 23 years young. Uh, amazing. Yeah, drafting those true juniors or redshirt sophomores. Come on, man. And if you take away Cousins and C.J. Ham, the, the core of the Vikings offense, including Dalvin, the average age is 24.67 years old. So and the Vikings offense has all the building blocks in place. They have a chance to be very, very good. Also, Kevin O'Connell, he ain't going anywhere, so we're going to have continuity at offensive play caller. And guess what? Flores gets the, uh, the defense's ish together could be sexy time uh, again if the defense can be aggressive and opportunistic and mid like we're, we're talking about like 15th 16th in the league and the offense continues this trajectory 
it could be ridiculous. It could be ridiculous, man. But uh, your thoughts are our thoughts. Uh, the Vikings offense has a chance to be very, very good for a very, very long time. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once more the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.